Puerto Rico. There they are, three of the most beautiful women in the universe. Well, Julie, Allie, did you guess them right? I'm too emotional to say right now. <laughs> you know, we really no, did. Wait, no one's going to believe us. So they won't. We won't. We need to show the paper. But what's so great, oh, we'll show the paper. <laughs> we love Miss Trinidad and Tobago is such a pleasant surprise. Didn't you see the arena go wild when they she loved her? I think she her. captured everyone in the audience. And the other two I really was sure about all week, but she really came out in front, I think. You know, the winner of tonight's pageant doesn't get to stand on the bow of the Titanic and scream, I'm queen of the world! But she does get a lot of other she prizes. She does. Enough to make her think maybe her ship has come in. Let's take a look. Clairol presents the first ever Miss Universe scholarship. $10,000 to the new Miss Universe, plus a year's supply of Herbal Essences hair care products. Herbal Essences select blends of all natural botanicals and organic herbs drenched in pure mountain spring water. The Tova Corporation is committed to helping every woman achieve her best in body, mind and spirit. Tova shares her secrets with the new Miss Universe with a year's supply of Tova skincare and cosmetic products and one year of complimentary services at the Tova Body, Mind and Spirit Day Spa in Beverly Hills. Sony Digital Mavica, the world's only digital camera that records directly on a standard wow. floppy disk. Nothing's cooler than the easy to use Sony Digital Mavica. Janssen, official swimwear of the Miss Universe pageant, proudly awards tonight's winner with $10,000 cash, plus an exciting wardrobe of Janssen swimwear ensembles. Jansen, swimwear famous for classic styling and comfortable fit. Hawaiian Tropic Sun Care Products is sending Miss Universe and a guest on an exciting trip to Hawaii. Enhanced with natural flora, fruit, and nut extracts, Hawaiian Tropic offers sun care for every skin type. Be sun smart with Hawaiian Tropic. Miss Universe receives $5,000 and a fabulous array of exclamation products, including glamorous new exclamation noir. Exclamation, the official fragrance of tonight's pageant. Here are the rest of Miss Universe's treasured prizes. Chopard, proud sponsor of the Miss Universe pageant, presents the Happy Diamonds Necklace. Discover the Chopard jewelry collection at the world's most exceptional jewelers. Chopard, creators of spectacular Swiss timepieces since 1860, including the distinctive Happy Diamonds watch, is proud to be the official timepiece of the Miss Universe pageant. Uniting luxury, beauty, and femininity, this year, Miss Universe and the premier luxury legwear company, Wolford, redefine putting our best leg forward. The uncompromising quality, setting trends. Wolford points fashion toward the future. Sasha London, a collection of contemporary footwear especially for you. Remember, style breeds success. Gold Tree by the contemporary impressionist artist James Hoyle. Miss Universe receives a post-crowning victory trip for two to Universal Studios, Florida. Andiamo luggage made in the USA, the official luggage of the Miss Universe pageant. Frequent traveler tough. The new Miss Universe wins a piece of the planet. $20,000 in certificates of Planet Hollywood stock. There's nothing like the planet. No coins, no bills, no problems. $10,000 worth of free prepaid phone cards from Sprint make it easy for Miss Universe to stay in touch. Spree, the prepaid phone card with universal connection. Our heartfelt thanks to these wonderful people who made our telecast from Hawaii possible. The governor of the state of Hawaii, Benjamin J. Cayetano. The president of the state senate, Norman Mizuguchi. The speaker of the Hawaii State House of Representatives, Joseph M. Suki. The producer for Hawaii, Al Massini. The co-chair and event coordinator of the Hawaii Host Committee, April Messina.
And of course, one more very important dignitary, the co-owner with CBS of the Miss Universe organization, Mr. Donald Trump. Right now, it's time for the final question. Now, if the judges are on the fence, this question may very well decide the entire competition. Each of the three will be asked the same question. Now, Miss Trinidad and Tobago, Miss Puerto Rico, I'm going to ask you to go over to the listening station and put those headphones on. Miss Venezuela, will you join me downstage here? Right. Now we have to wait. There'll be no cheating. Can you guys hear me? Hello? Okay. Miss Venezuela, a woman has just awakened after being asleep for 20 years. What do you tell her? She missed. Una mujer se acaba de despertar después de haber estado dormida por 20 años. ¿Qué le dirías tú a ella que se ha perdido? Bueno, yo le diría que se ha perdido lo maravilloso de la vida, que no sabe cuánto hay las personas crecemos, desarrollamos y aprendemos y que los sueños se hacen realidad y que es que empiece desde ahorita a hacer todos los sueños que en el pasado ella no pudo cumplir. Yeah. I would tell her that she's missed a marvelous life experience by being asleep and that she should quickly remember that everyone can make their lives, uh, their dreams come true so that she should hurry up and make all the dreams that she had when she was still awake come true now. Thank you very much, Ms. Venezuela. You step over here, please. Over here. Ms. Trinidad and Tobago. A woman, the question is, a woman has just awakened after being asleep for 20 years. What do you tell her she has missed? Oh, she's missed so much in terms of technology, but unfortunately she's also missed our lack of sensitivity to our environment. Uh, she'll miss now clean air, uh, regular climates, that kind of thing. We. I'm going to tell her that we have to, or I should say, we are in the process of turning that around, but that's what she's missing, in my opinion. Fresh air and a good, a good earth, a good clean earth. I agree with you. Thank you. Puerto Rico. A woman has just awakened after being asleep for 20 years. What do you tell her she's missed? I tell her that we are always the same, that we have advanced in technology, in every technology, in everything, but that women are still women, and that women will always be women, no matter how long time passes by, because women are the best. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, our three finalists. Venezuela. You know, I thought she answered in a humorous way. It was a very tough question, and she was saying, hey, quit sleeping, wake up. Right, and she she was cute. Point, but she was humorous, yes. Trinidad and Tobago. My heart went out for her. Loves this girl. They and she's so her. smart, and she... Last minute, so nervous she messed up on the question. I know, I really feel Let's for her see this what the time. judges do. Puerto Rico. She's been strong the whole time. It's right now, it's just a matter of who the judges love. Yeah, and it's, you know, the first part of the competition is going to weigh heavily now. Right. Three finalists, only one winner coming up right after this. The year has gone by so quickly. I thank the people that kept me going all year. Being this universe is truly a team effort. To the office family, travel managers, Ellie and Joan, thank you for taking care of me. To the people of the world, you made me laugh and smile and shared your homes with me. Merci beaucoup, 
Muchas gracias. She she. Terima kasih. Kap kun ka. Domo arigato gozaimasu. Ayuboan and kam samida. Thank you for proving that the multicultural dream is a reality. Last but not least, to my ohana, my family, and the people of Hawaii Nei. Thank you all for making me what I am. Your love and aloha has sustained me around this glorious globe. And as it is said in Hawaii, there are no goodbyes. Just aloha oi, till we meet again. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Mark Ward of the accounting firm Ernst & Young has verified the winner. We'll begin with the second runner-up. The second runner-up in the 1998 Miss Universe pageant is Miss Puerto Rico. I'm sure you all know this, but it bears repeating. The job of first runner-up is very important. If for any reason Miss Universe cannot fulfill her duties, the first runner-up takes over. The first runner-up in the 1998 Miss Universe pageant is Miss Venezuela, Miss Universe 1998, Miss Trinidad and Tobago. talks about the wedding of the year. This is the day that my character has been waiting for for five years, so I'm very excited. I'm getting married. Wow, it's been a long time of coming, but I'm getting married. It's pandemonium. It's gorgeous. It's like the best wedding I've ever seen. The nanny is getting married on Wednesday, May 13th. The address is CBS. 